Hey, what's up, YouTube? Got another one for you. This is uh, actually a new one. I was in Goody Goody today. I'm walking around looking and trying to figure out what I'm going to get to review for you guys. Something new that I haven't tried. Most of you bourbon lovers are familiar with MGP juice. MGP is a distillery in Indiana. Um, it's actually in uh, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. It's huge. It's a huge distillery. It makes all this bourbon, barrels it, and then if you're a person that wants to start a bourbon company, you can buy these barrels from MGP, the distillery, have them sent to you, and you can age it yourself, or they, I think they do offer aging for you, um, or they can just distill it, barrel it, and send it to you, and you can age it wherever you want. Um, sort of like Smoke Wagon. Smoke Wagon is an MGP juice. So MGP makes the bourbon for smoke wagon then they mail them the barrels and then smoke wagon ages it in las vegas nevada so it's actually made barreled everything in indiana then it's shipped and sold to smoke wagon and they store it there um, and age it there um, so mgp is huge and they're they're not an up-and-coming thing they've been around for a long time um, they have a couple select bourbons um, that they make themselves age there and they sell it under their name um and one of them one of the famous ones is remus remus is an mgp distillery bourbon um and then there's this one i saw eight and sand blended bourbon whiskey so i don't know if that means it's bourbon whiskey blended blended bourbon whiskey so i'm assuming it's just bourbon um that's blended with different barrels kind of like a like a small batch or something but it's just blended with a bunch of different bourbons um they said online that this is four year the the youngest bourbon that's blended in this bottle is four years so i don't know if this stuff tastes good there was an old man in the aisle he was older seemed pretty honest he said he keeps four or five in his cabinet because he loves it so much i was like cool it's 44 percent alcohol 80 88 proof mgp on the back it says distilled and blended by mgp distilling lawrenceburg indiana no gns or coloring added huh so let's give her a shot man i'm not a big fan of any bourbon unless it's buffalo trace brand but let's see man i mean i've been surprised before so let's let's take a cork look oh, <laughs> oh shit all right hmm hmm different smell to it huh let's give her a shot see what she's got boys and girls pretty cool bottle i guess it has a train on it i guess it's uh it says eight and sand is a promise of a smooth and satisfying experience in every sip Our with ours is a whiskey whose craftsmanship honors the railroad legends that built this country that's pretty sweet man that is pretty cool let's let's see what we got on the on the smell hmm super fruity real fruity like fruity all the way through um kind of like a fruit loops like the cereal fruit loops that's kind of what it smells like hmm. let it breathe a little bit Let's see what kind of color she's got got a nice little color to it um pretty dark yeah man i get a lot of fruit a lot of fruits kind of scares me sometimes hmm. yeah it's super fruity man super fruit let's give it a taste and see what she No burn, got some spice on the back end. So when I say spice, I don't know if you guys have had Weller Antique. So Weller Antique has a burn and a spice, like a peppery spice on the back end, where it kind of almost chokes you up in your throat. I get, I don't get the burn, 
that I get that spice, kind of like a sweet pepper, like like pepper, like pepper you put on food, but like a sweet version of it. It's kind of hard to explain. It's not like a nasty pepper, but kind of weird, man. Fruity. Definitely spicy, man, but not like a weird spice. I don't know, man. It's kind of awkwardly spiced. It's definitely a unique flavor. I'm going to have to hit this on another day and, um, and give you guys an update on if it's good or not. Right now, it's pretty good. For this bottle, it was $29. It kind of scared me, $29.95 or something. And I was like, uh, that's not going to be good. It's not horrible, man. Like I wanted to do one that I told you guys it sucks so you guys know I'm fucking being honest with you about giving you an honest review but this is not that bad man spice on the tongue spice on the back end kind of like the cooking spice I don't know man I can't call it newest member of MGP's Rack House series and blend of incredible whiskeys married together to create smooth I don't know man it's kind of got me for a loss of words I don't know what to tell you guys just pick it up man I mean you guys, you guys might like this no burn I mean, I'm taking pretty big freaking hits. There's zero burn, zero burn. A um, little bit of spice, which I'm not a big spice guy, and that's the only reason I'm like, eh. Well, it says here, spicy rye and cinnamon notes are followed by a touch of caramel at the caboose. I get the caramel up front. I don't get it in the back. Um, I get that spicy rye up front and all the way through and in the back i get the cinnamon a little caramel i can see that up front but not in the back not bad unique something to keep in your cabinet i don't know it's giving me some funny taste in my mouth now Yeah, it's got spice. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't know, man. Sorry. Pick it up. I mean, it's smooth. There's no burn. That's a good thing. No burn. A lot of spice for me. A lot of spice. I don't like spice. There's a lot of spice. Probably won't buy it again. Probably take me a while to drink it. But I'll drink it. It's not bad. It's not great. And it's not bad. It's a good bourbon. It's just spicy. If you like spice, then you'll like it. Give it a try.